Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. It's now time for the featured bout of the evening. From the four corners of the world, to the four corners of this ring, the fight starts now! It is Friday afternoon in New York City. The weekend almost here. Weekend plans are being made around the five boroughs, but everyone knows the place to be on Saturday night is in Madison Square Garden for a transcending event, a fight between two trailblazers in women's boxing, Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano. Welcome in everybody to Matchroom Boxing's public weigh-in for Taylor Serrano alongside Claudia Traos. I'm Justin Shackle. We are coming to you live once again from the Hulu Theater at Madison Square Garden. We are one day away. The requirements have been fulfilled. All the boxes have been checked off. One last thing to do, step on those scales. But I know you are curious about one thing in particular as it relates to the main event here. Absolutely. We know that Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano are great professionals. I want to know how they carry this weight. Katie, a professional at 135, Amanda has gone up and down. She's a master with her weight. The heaviest she's ever been was 138, and that was back in 2018 against Yamili Reynoso. So I want to see how she handles 135 the distance. That is to come up, and a little bit later we are going to run through the full card as far as weigh-ins go, and let's get to it. Let's step on the scales here. Without further ado, let's go to David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the world's most famous arena, the mecca of sports and entertainment, Madison Square Garden, New York, New York, USA, for the official weigh-in for an historic night of World Championship Professional Boxing. It's all being brought to you courtesy of Matchroom Boxing and Most Valuable Promotions, and all the action will go on live around the world exclusively on the zone. It's a great fight card. We've got eight fights in total, five title fights, two undisputed championships of the world, and at the top of the bill, the biggest fight in women's boxing history. So without further ado, let's go ahead and bring the fighters up to the stage so they can face the scale and face each other. We begin tonight with a six round affair in the light heavyweight division, making his way to the stage at this time from Kenosha, Wisconsin. Please welcome the kid, William Langston. Six and two, four knockouts. And his opponent now making his way to the stage, his professional record so far undefeated. Two fights, no losses, one draw. Both of his wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Jersey City, New Jersey, here is the Team USA podium star, Big Stepper, Khalil Ko. Ko. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the kid, William Langston. One seventy-three, bang on for the kid, William Langston. One seventy-three, bang on. And out of the scale, ladies and gentlemen, big stepper, Khalil Ko. One seventy-four point six for the man from Jersey City. One seventy-four point six for big stepper, Khalil Ko. Versus Langston, six rounds, light heavyweights, matchroom boxing, Madison Square Garden, USA. Well, Khalil Ko and William Langston going to be starting it off on Before the Bell on Saturday night. 
in Madison Square Garden. Both fighters looking pretty trim at 175 pounds. Khalil Ko looking for his third pro victory as he fights just across the river from his hometown in Jersey City, New Jersey. And we go back to David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest, six rounds in the featherweight division, now making her way to the stage, her young professional record thus far perfect, two fights, two victories. Fighting out of Queensland, Australia, here is the 2020 Olympian and the Commonwealth Games gold medalist, Sky Nicholson. Nicholson. One twenty five point six for Sky Nicholson, one twenty five point six. There you see Sky Nicholson playing to the crowd well with the Broadway blue shirts. Received that jersey earlier this week. Rumor is she'll be wearing that on her ring walk tomorrow night. Not bad for her third professional fight, Madison Square Garden. You know, the New York Rangers have surprised a lot of people around the NHL. She is not looking too surprised. She's looking to just meet expectations, perhaps exceed yes. them a little bit with some impressive showing. But as we get back to the stage, here is David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest, eight rounds in the welterweight division. Now making his way to the stage, his professional record 12 wins, only one defeat. Ten of his 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando de Matamoros, Tamaulipas, Mexico. Please welcome Joe Eli Hernandez. Hernandez. And his opponent now making his way to the stage. His professional record, a perfect one. 11 fights, 11 victories, seven of them coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Staten Island, New York, ladies and gentlemen, here is the Albanian bear, Rashad Mahdi. Mahdi. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Eli Hernandez. 144.2, 144.2 for Hernandez. And now to the scale, the undefeated Albanian bear, Rashad Mahdi. One forty three point eight for the undefeated Albanian bear, one forty three point eight. They see Rashad Mahdi, Joe, Eli Hernandez getting ready for their face-off as Mahdi fights in his hometown and in his hometown venue of Madison Square Garden. How much pressure does he face right now? I don't think he faces, I don't think he feels too much pressure though. You talk to him, very Mahdi calm. Mahdi Hernandez, eight rounds, welterweights, matchroom boxing, live on the zone. Very limited seats left, so please get them now. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest it's a burner, and uh, I'll tell you what, two Southpaws facing off cannot wait to see this contest as we have 10 rounds for the vacant WBA Continental Americas Middleweight Championship. Now making his way to the stage, his professional record, a perfect one. 17 fights, 17 victories, seven of them coming by way of knockout. He fights out of Stamford, Connecticut. Please welcome Cordell, the gift booker. 
Booker. And his opponent now making his way to the stage, also a southpaw, also undefeated. Ten fights, ten victories, eight of them coming by way of knockout. Here is the hard-hitting man from Houston, Texas. Please welcome him, Austin Ammo Williams. Williams. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, the gift, Cordell Booker. One fifty-seven point four for the undefeated Southpaw Cordell, the gift Booker. And out of the scale, ladies and gentlemen, Austin Ammo Williams. One fifty-eight point eight for the undefeated Southpaw from Houston, Texas, Austin Ammo Williams. There you, there you hear one fifty-eight point eight for Ammo Williams, one fifty-seven point four for Cordell Booker going up for the WBA Continental Americas title at one hundred and sixty pounds. Booker, of course, with the experience as a professional. But Emma Williams has fought inside the big room before for Joshua Ruiz back in 2019. Could that possibly offset all the experience that Booker has over Emma Williams? There's something to be said about fighting before a huge crowd in a place like this. There's weight on that presentation. And of course, Amo's first opportunity for a title. And I know he's willing to put everything on the line for this fight tomorrow going to be a good one. Amber Williams coming in at 10 and 0 and fighting for his first title, a regional strap. Again, the WBA Continental Americas title at 160 pounds as you see Eddie Hearn holding up the belt. Booker, 10 rounds for the vacant WBA Continental America's Middleweight Championship. Matchroom Boxing, live on the zone from Madison Square Garden. You saw Ammo Williams, he is calm as personal as it gets throughout this fight week, but something has flipped the switch here. About 24 hours away from his first title fight as a professional, very intense on the stage, and that stare down high level with Cordell Booker. Let's go back to David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest, 10 rounds for the International WBC Flyweight Championship. Now making his way to the stage, please welcome the challenger. His professional record, 17 wins, 6 defeats, 1 draw, with 8 wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, please welcome Miguel. No fear, Cartagena. Cartagena. And his opponent now making his way to the stage. He is the defending titleist. His young professional record thus far perfect. One fight, one victory. And that victory came by way of knockout. He fights out of the West Midlands, Birmingham, England. Please welcome the 2020 Olympic gold medalist, Galhaf Yafai! Yafai! And now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen. No fear, Miguel Cartagena. One ten point four for Cardena. One ten point four.
And out of the scale, the 2020 Olympic gold medalist from Birmingham, England, Galal Yapai. One eleven point eight, one hundred and eleven point eight pounds for Galalia Five. Ten round flyweight battle coming up. Galia Five in his second pro fight, making his first title defense. Yes. Very impressive here at Madison Square Garden. As they get against to the a stage. fighter that comes from Philly. Let's not forget how hard they are. Yavai versus Cartagena, 10 rounds for the WBC International Flyweight Championship. Matchroom boxing live on the zone from Madison Square Garden. Ladies and gentlemen, 10 rounds for the undisputed Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Making her way to the stage, her professional record, a perfect one. Eight fights, eight victories, four of them coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Vesterua, Sweden, here is the reigning, defending, undefeated, and unified WBA and IBF Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Aileen, Aileen Siodrus. Siodrus. And her opponent now making her way to the stage. Her professional record, seven victories, one defeat. She has two wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Charm City, Baltimore, Maryland, USA. Here is the reigning, defending, and unified WBC and WBO super middleweight champion of the world, the heavy-hitting diva, Franchon Cruz Desern. Cruz Desern. And out of the scale, Aileen Cedrus. 167.8, 167.8 for Cedrus. And out of the scale, please welcome Franchon Cruz to Zern. One sixty six point eight for Cruz Desern, one sixty six point eight for Frank Sean Cruz Desern. Center is coming in looking very big, very athletic, but then you have French on Cruz Desern. A stiff matchup here, and she's looking to put on a show. Oh, yes. The diva knows exactly how to bring a show to the palestra and she's going to give us a little bit of the diva in the ring for sure. Fresh on Cruz deserves Amy Zidrus 10 rounds for the Undisputed Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Matchroom Boxing live on the zone, Madison Square Garden.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to weigh in the chief support of the evening. 12 rounds for the WBO Intercontinental Junior Middleweight Championship. And now making his way to the stage, his professional record, 30 victories, 3 defeats, 1 draw. He's got 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Liverpool, England, here is the third of the four fighting Smith brothers and the former WBO junior middleweight champion of the world, Liam Beefy Smith. Smith. And his opponent now making his way to the stage, his professional record, 29 victories, 3 defeats, 2 draws. He has 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the two division world, former world champion fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, and the former WBA and IBO super lightweight world champion, and the former WBO welterweight champion of the world, the pride of Las Vegas, Jesse Vargas. Vargas. Now to the scales, ladies and gentlemen, beefy, Liam Smith. One fifty-four even, one hundred and fifty-four pounds even for Liam Beefy Smith. And now to the scale. The former two division world champion, the pride of Las Vegas, Jesse Vargas. 153 bang on, 153 bang on for Jesse Vargas. Jesse Vargas went in one pound lighter than Liam Smith. Smith coming in at 154, Vargas at 153. We're going to hear from both fighters in a matter of moments with our Todd Grisham off to the side of the stage as we get ready to go for a crossroads fight at 154 pounds. This is Jesse's first time fighting at 154. I'm glad that he kept it a little lighter, maybe that's just part of the strategy. Chief support, 12 rounds for the WBO Intercontinental Junior Middleweight Championship. do that to anyone <laughs> and Jesse had a couple of words to say about that uh, there's Marcus been some Smith. animosity there this is the final time till they see each other tomorrow night in the center of the ring Well, the animosity between Liam Smith and Jesse Vargas alive and well here inside the Hulu Theater. Quickly, one thing that you're looking forward to most with that fight at 154. Oh, I want to see how Jesse handles the weight. Let's not forget this is his first time at 154. Uh, I want to see that Guerrero within him. We've seen him in many battles, so this is the opportunity for him to show off his skill at 154. And obviously, Liam knows exactly what to do in this division, and he's a power puncher. So we'll see how he handles that type of punishment. The crowd coming alive here as these two weigh in. And we have Todd Grisham downstairs checking in with both fighters. I appreciate that, Justin. I'm here with El Bifo himself, Liam Smith. What was being said there during the stare down? Maybe it's a fight I'm going to you know, fuck you up. I can't remember the last person he did. He's coming up in weight class. You feel like he's not really ready for your division, but yet he's promising to knock you out. Yeah, definitely not. 154 is my division, and I'll, I'll show that. And I'll be the first to stop Jesse. Uh, 
a pretty rambunctious atmosphere here. How excited are you to fight at Madison Square Garden with Katie Taylor? I'm very excited, you know, I'm privileged and honored to, to be on a card with you know, two superstars in boxing and you know, to, to come in, like chief supporter there at that main event. I'm honored and I'm looking forward to their fight also. And you've been very open this week about if you don't live up to your own expectations, this may be your last fight. What are your, your head space right now? What are you thinking as you make that walk for perhaps the final time? It's not the final time for me. I'll show you what I've done in the gym. I'll show you my, my fire and my belly still burns, and, and I'll answer Jesse's questions for that. All right, well, good luck to you. Thank you. Thanks, John. All right, Liam Smith, El Bifo, merchandise available now, known as Beefy, and here comes his opponent, who who's still jabber John with Liam. All right, Jesse Vargas is here. Jesse, why are you so animated right now? Uh, you know something, man? He's just been talking a lot of trash, and I'm really tired of it. So every time he smiles at me, he's going to smile. He's going to look at me. He's going to want to keep coming, and he's going to say he's not hurting. But believe me, it hurts. When a fighter smiles at you, when you're hitting him in the face, Believe me, it hurts. And I know it's gonna hurt him. It's gonna hurt him in the first round, in the second round, and all the way down until I knock him out. Jesse, I've never seen you quite like this, but you feel like you've found a new leaf on your, uh, a new lease on your career, that you found power that you didn't know you had before. Where did it come from, and how are we gonna see it tomorrow? It came from a hard training camp that I had with my brother, Rachel Rodea, with my father, who's my coach. You know, we've had a fantastic training camp, and I hope that everybody here enjoys the fight Saturday night. And if everybody's tuned in, I'm, I've always been the quiet one. But then again, when someone wants to disrespect you, you stand up for what you believe in. And I demand respect, and that's the reason why I'm ready to knock this guy out. I've never said it before in my career, but this fight, this one I will focus on. All right, good luck to you. Jesse, everybody, fighting here tomorrow night, Madison Square Garden, Jesse Vargas versus Liam Smith. We go back to David Diamante. Gracias por apoyo. Jesse Vargas and Liam Smith weighing in there for their clash at 154 pounds. And now it is time to step on the scales for the main event. Back to David Diamante we go. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the world's most famous arena, the Mecca for sports and entertainment, Madison Square Garden, New York, New York, USA. Where tonight, matchroom boxing, and most valued promotions are proud to present the official weigh-in for the biggest fight in women's boxing history. 10 rounds for the undisputed lightweight championship of the world. And it's all gonna be broadcast live on DAZN. Now to help me introduce both Team Katie and Amanda, I've got two incredible VIP guests. So at this time, please welcome to help me introduce Team Serrano, the WWE Raw Women's Champion, the EST of the WWE, Bianca Belair. Belair. And now to help introduce Team Taylor. Here is the six-time WWE Champion from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Lynch. All right, Madison Square Garden, what's up? Now, I'm gonna need all of y'all to clap it up one time for this amazing event and for everyone involved in putting on the biggest women's fight in history. Come on, clap it up. Yes, tomorrow night is gonna be historic. Now, I am WWE superstar Bianca Belair, and along with being the WWE Raw Women's Champion, I am also the EST of WWE, meaning I am the strong S, the fastest, the roughest, the toughest, the quickest, the greatest, the best superstar in the world. Now, I was backstage talking with Amanda Serrano, and she told me that she's gonna pull a Bel Air tomorrow night, meaning she's gonna snatch all those belts from the champ, kind of like what I did to Becky Lynch at WrestleMania. <laughs> Now, as a proud member of Team Serrano, with all further ado, I'm gonna need y'all to get up on your feet. Come on now, get up on your feet. For the former unified featherweight champion, the only woman to win titles in seven weight classes, the fighting pride of Puerto Rico, 
Come on, give it up, give it up, give it up for Amanda, the real deal, Soprano. Square Garden, Serrano versus Taylor for all the belts. Now, I know a thing or two about fighting in New York City for all the belts. I also know a thing or two about fighting in that big room next door in front of thousands upon thousands of fans. And I know you people will have this place rocking. Where are my Irish fans at? No, 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 no. Now you all know why I'm here. <clears throat> I am here because of the best Irish boxer to ever step in between those ropes. And I am proud. I am so proud to be head of Team Taylor. We are taking over, baby, because you will never, you will never be the fighting Irish, and you will never be the history-making, game-changing, record-breaking winner of the 2012 Olympic gold medal winner, the woman who has won gold medals all over the world, the reigning, defended, undisputed, undefeated, lightweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together from Bray County Wicklow, Ireland, the Bray Bomber, Katie Taylor. Welcome the challenger. She has been a professional fighter since 2009, amassing a record of 42 wins, one defeat, one draw, and 30 big wins coming by way of knockout. In 2011, she won her first world title and has now gone on to become the Guinness Book of World Record setting nine time seven division world champion. Ella nació en Carolina, Puerto Rico, and raised in the beautiful borough of Brooklyn, New York. Here is the talented and accomplished women's boxing southpaw sensation, the reigning and unified featherweight champion of the world, the Gran Campeón por Riqueña, Amanda, the real deal, Serrano. 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 
133.6 for Amanda, the real deal, Serrano. 133.6. And her opponent now making her way to the scale. She is the defending undisputed world champion. As an amateur, she won five consecutive world championship gold medals, six European gold medals, five European Union gold medals. And in 2012 in London, she captured Olympic gold. Now, as a professional, her record stands perfect. 20 fights, 20 victories, six of them coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, here is the acclaimed, the celebrated, and the game-changing two-division, and reigning, defending, undefeated, and undisputed, Serrano, if you can, put this into perspective. We knew this was going to be a big fight, but you see now that it really is going to be a big fight. And they say women can't sell. Are they out there? Man, you have two of the best pound for pound going at it, making history at the Garden. Boricuas and Irish. Who can ask for any more? I can feel the, 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 the just love and the support. Um, you know, you guys are the true winners um, come tomorrow night. You guys wanted this fight. You guys kept asking for this fight, so here you go. Enjoy tomorrow night. What's the one thing you have to do in this fight tomorrow to be successful? Just be vintage Amanda Serrano. All right. And what is your message to your fans who are here tonight and that will be here tomorrow and your fans around the world? Yeah, muchas gracias, los boricuas. Me, um, de corazón, gracias por todo el apoyo. Los quiero muchos en este paso. Nosotros para ustedes. This is for all of us, Boricuas. 
Hasta la muerte, baby. And now let's bring in her promoter, Jake Paul. Jake, what was it about this fighter in particular that you got behind? Look, I don't, I don't have anything to say about that. What I do have to say for the Irish is I feel bad for y'all because this is the start of Katie Taylor's losing streak, just like Conor McGregor. This is the start of her losing streak, just like Conor McGregor. Here's your microphone. All right, there you have it. One more time, Amanda Serrano, everybody. And now we bring in the one and only Katie Taylor. Katie, you've been in some big fights before. How does this one feel compared to those? Uh, well, there's definitely something different about this fight, being involved in the biggest fight in female boxing history. It's great to see so many fans here. Thank you so much to all the Irish who traveled over. I'm so grateful. I know you're not comfortable doing the interviews and the media. You've done it all week. Now that the fight has finally arrived, how do you feel? I feel great. I'm uh, ready to step in there. I'm ready to hear those words. I'm still world champion. I'm still world champion. All right, Miss Katie Taylor. Good luck to you. Eddie, Joe Markowski said this feels like a Canelo fight. That's the kind of environment and atmosphere that you guys have created for this night. How much does this mean to you personally to be able to pull this off at this level? Well, look, we're making history as the biggest female fight of all time, but better than that. Forget women's boxing, men's boxing. This is one of the greatest fights of all time between two of the greatest to ever lace them up. So we couldn't have done it without the support of everybody, MVP, DAZN, and everybody here today. Tomorrow night, from top to bottom of the card, you are going to get a night at Madison Square Garden you will never forget. And it's been jovial, and we respect Team Serrano, but tomorrow night, you're going to see why Katie Taylor is the best female fighter of all time. And I tell you... There's nothing like the Irish, and you never beat the Irish. Katie Taylor is going to absolutely put on a beautiful performance tomorrow night, and you will hear the words, and still undisputed. Thank you, Puerto Rico. Thank you, Ireland. Let's make some noise for two great fighters. All right, there you have it. Let's send it back upstairs to Justin and Claudia. What an environment, guys. Well, Todd, I'll tell you what, between the tamboras and the Irish rock violins, I like the way you said tamboras. They, they go really <laughs> nice in unison. This is yes. a raucous crowd here, and the energy through the roof here at the Hulu Theater. You know, Justin, I, we've seen many fights. We've been there, but I still get goosebumps, and tonight is one of those days that I get that anticipation for an outstanding fight. Two outstanding fighters, and they're both ladies. You had the tamboras, you had Bianca Belair, for Amanda Serrano, you had Becky Lynch, and the Irish rock violins, Farah bringing out Katie Taylor, and one pound difference between the two fighters. Did that tell you anything leading into tomorrow? No, that tells me that they're definitely professionals. The two professionals were expecting to step in the ring tomorrow, and that, that one pound, in my book, doesn't make much of a difference because Katie, like I've said, her whole career is at 135. And Amanda handles her weight. She's gone from 115, 112, all the way up to 138. This is, I hate to say it, another day at the office for two, two fighters, but an outstanding night of boxing for boxing fans in boxing history. And a transcending event for the entire sport of boxing. Less than a day away from getting started here in New York City. Again, join us tomorrow night on the zone, 7.30 Eastern, the main card. That's when the next show gets on the road there. Join us, though, for Before the Bell, 40.45 Eastern on Matchroom Boxing and on the zone. For Todd, for Claudia, I'm Justin Shackle saying so long from Madison Square Garden. Plan 100% is Amanda Serrano at Madison Square Garden. It's now time to make a historic fight. Katie's been wanting that fight for a long time, and that's the fight people want to see. This is the most excited I've been for, for a fight in a long, long time. This is a history-making fight. Katie Taylor, beat your sister Cindy in the ring. Do you have any message for Katie Taylor? She better be ready for me. I'm younger, I'm stronger. I can box, I can brawl. She's never fought a girl that hit as hard as me. Talk is cheap, it's very easy to talk into a fight. I don't think it's anything that I, I've never seen before. You have undisputed champion versus a seven division unified champion. It's the biggest fight of all time in women's boxing. We're gonna go out there and we're gonna showcase a hell of a fight. Once we go in that ring, we let our hands do the talking.